Hello friends, welcome to Electrical Design Engineering YouTube channel. This is our lecture number 13 of our free course ETAB. In this lecture, we will study about star view and TCC characteristics. The figure shown in the here is the TCC characteristics. Before starting the lecture, I have a very small request for you that is to subscribe my channel, like and share my videos on your social media profiles. You can join also in our telegram channel and whatsapp channel. The link of these groups are given in the description. Before starting the lecture, I want to ask you a small question. What is the voltage rating and MCOV rating of 11 kV lighting arrester? It is full is lighting arrester. Sorry, it is only showing here lighting. It is lighting arrester. First option, the options are A is 11 kV, 8.8 kV. This is the MCOV rating. B is 10 kV and 10 kV. And C is 9 kV and 7.65 kV. And D is 8 kV and 6.4 kV. You can answer this question in the comment section. I will pin the right answer so that you can know the answer what is the correct answer. You can also join our uh, telegram channel where I can put this, the answer of this question. This is the diagram and example which we are studying. In the previous lecture, we have studied this portion of the this uh, example. Now we will go to uh, study the star view of this portion. First of all, I want to show uh, how to set the default star view. The settings of the default settings of the star view. This is the default uh, button here. You can click here and go to plot options and in the plot options you can see there is a star view you can click on the star view now you can control here your default setting if you want to show also range in the star view then you can click it and make it um, tick it or if you do not want you can uncheck it then there is the axis you can this is the x axis showing the current and this is the y axis showing the time in second is you can uh, choose the color what color you want to display this axis and then there is a grid see there is no grid you can if you want to display the grid you can ch check this and you can select also the color of the grid how uh, which color you of the grid you want okay and you can go off the legend in the legend you can uh, tick the right and add the logo also here text uh, what you want and left uh, you can text and logo and uh, this uh, here you can enter the project details it can be shown in the uh, legend of your tcc star view characteristics and then there is a devices you can show that it shows the uh, protected devices here you can select any protected device suppose and you can choose the color which color you want to show in your tcc characteristics or there is appearance you want to phase mode appearance ground mode appearance and label all the things you can control here and um, display according to your choice before going to star view we should uh, click here this is the run short circuit uh, update the, uh, run the short circuit you can click here and you can see the short circuit details are updated on every wire on the buses and if you double click on the relay you can go to TCC the short circuit details has been updated here okay and click ok now we have the short circuit current is here on the every bus you can if you want to now the to start the relay coordination and star view coordination for this example we can start from the bottom I have already told you when we start the relay coordination we start from the bottom for that we can select this portion and it becomes a red and again go to the star view in this this is the star view of this uh, portion of the motor uh, section and he, this is the diagram you can zoom it see you can zoom it and you can keep it aside here for easy understanding now first of all i will explain you the this diagram what does this diagram mean what the curves what, what curves are what the curves are 
this is the uh, star view this is the tcc uh, tcc curves of various things first of all we should know what is the tcc what does the tcc curve mean tcc curve means time current curve a time current curve is a graphical representation that shows how long it takes for a circuit breaker fuse or protective relay to trip interrupt the circuit at different levels of electrical currents there are two axes of this curve that's x axis and y axis x axis shows the current in amperes and y axis shows the time in seconds as you can see this is the y axis and it shows the time in seconds and this is the x axis it shows current in uh, current it represents the current in amperes now this is the motor uh, curve this is the motor curve and is at 100% at uh, uh, 100% motor curve. This is the motor. This curve. The black one is the motor curve. And this is the motor uh, starting curve at 75%. This was the motor starting curve at 100%. This was the motor starting curve at uh, 75 at 80%. And this is the overload relay jam protection curve. This curve. This is the jam protection curve. This one. This is the L-shaped jam protection curve. And this is the overload curve. This one is the overload curve. And this is the uh, motor hot curve, hot characteristic curve. And this is the cold uh, characteristic curve. And this is the fuse characteristic curve. These are the different curves in this uh, TCC characteristics. Now coming to here, this is the TCC uh, characteristics of the curve of this figure. First of all, you can see the motor. This motor is provided protection through fuse and the overload relay. First of all, of all we can uh, make the settings of TCC settings of the overload relay. Either you can double click here and you will get this uh, window that is the overload relay editor. First of all, I will select the motor one. You can show me the full load current and percentage LRC here. Here you can see the motor uh, characteristics. It, is, it shows here the trip curve. Suppose I will consider that our motor is capable. Uh, this is thermal protection capable of 10% overload continuous overload. So we can see the, the full load current is 123 amperes. We can write here 123.4 into 1.10. Considering the 10% uh, overload continuous overload is become 135.7 and that is 136 approximately I can change it here 136 amperes okay then I will go to the jam protection in the jam protection it is showing that is the jam protection range is 0 to 100 1020 of pickup value we can select the we have kept it 200 percent here you can change 100 percent or 200 percent whatever your choice you can generally we can keep it 200 percent of the trip well that is 49 when we change that is around 272 amperes okay and the, uh, here the delay uh, second time is the one second as you can see here the at 80 percent of uh, motor starting person at percent of low voltage the motor starting uh, delay is uh, around uh, 4 percent so it should be above the 4 percent so you can keep it above 5 percent suppose so you yeah, click ok and you can see the motor this curve has shifted to 4 percent uh, 5 percent above the motor starting curve okay now Now you can see that this is the overload uh, relay curve and that this is the jam protection curve has been set. It is above the starting motor starting curve and then um, below the hot and star cold star. So you can see also here the overload uh, relay characteristic curve and the jam protection is uh, here um, intersecting each other. You can mix these uh, two curves. This is the feature in the ATAP available. You can select any one of this curve and go to here combine and click at any point in the tcc characteristics you can see these two curves are now combined now we have set the tcc uh, relay uh, overload relay characteristics uh, of uh, setting up the for this motor uh, for this uh, for this motor 
now we will go back to online diagram here now we have uh, make the settings in this portion of only start this is the characteristic that said been in this portion now we will move uh, upwards in the next lecture